Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I've got a new creative idea for uh, reusing, repurposing, and recycling materials to give you a basically free uh, solar panel mount for your Harbor Freight solar panels. Let me show you what I got going on. <clears throat> if you notice, uh, let me take you in a little closer. If you notice, this thing is a complete uh, solar panel mount. As far as the mount itself, the crossbar, the two uprights, and the other top bar, completely free. Recycled bed frames, uh, they're a great option instead of going out and buying angle iron. Everybody has a bed they're going to replace. People give them away all the time. One of my uh, fellow YouTube subscri or subscribers and good friend called me up the other day and told me, Hey, uh, some guy on Craigslist posted five sets for free I went and got them down the road they're yours come and get them so I went and picked them up I keep them here all the time because it's a good uh, good you know, material to repurpose why not it's, um, it's cheaper than going buy an angle iron and you create something just as easy the way um, I, I made this let me give it a little twist the whole the whole thing behind it is also repurposing and reusing another uh, common item that's given away all the time on Craigslist or you might have them laying around which is this bracket right here this is the bottom part of a solar, uh, not, I'm sorry, not solar, uh, satellite dish basically you have four mounting points which would be here these are the top ones which is real wide and you have here which is two uh, bolts they are real narrow I was able to repurpose uh, not only the mount itself repurpose the bed frame and uh, repurpose the bolts that were actually holding the dish together um, basically what I did was measure the entire uh, height of the solar panels simple panels I think it was uh, 40 and a quarter I believe or no I'm, I'm sorry it's 38 and a quarter I believe is the total height sorry I didn't bring my measurements out to uh, give the proper measurements what I'll do is I'll put them in the description below um, so what I did was cut my two uh, uprights the same length if, and actually I gave it a half inch longer than the panel itself I got lucky because there was right here there was uh, two holes that were already in the bed frame so what I did was after I cut both pieces to the same length I ran the same the exact bolt that came uh, on the dish itself ran it right through centered put both of them on and realized that it was just about centered where I want it but the two right here they go in a hair they go in about uh, an inch and a half narrower for the two mounting bolts than uh, than the poles themselves and I wanted to keep these as upright as possible to hold the weight and to transition the load back to the pole <clears throat> to keep everything just right after doing that Bolt and uh, tighten these two nuts up. I put uh, this piece right here seven and a half inches long. I put that in, tack welded it, turned on, drilled my holes through, got the entire uprights fully mounted up. This right here is a crossbar that would go. You have your main bed frames that go out. This is the crossbar that would join the the together under the bed to make the whole width of the bed. And what I did was repurposing stuff. I had also add seven and a half inches long uh, longer to this piece which I reused off another one I kept the little holes at the bottom to help provide drainage so that way any water that collects down the panel will just come to the bottom and drain out right here and I did the same for the top as well after doing so I took my first panel I laid it dead centered checked measurements on each side so that way I know everything was laying there properly took the smallest drill bit made uh, all four holes bolted it in place and I did uh, the same exact for the two outer panels by doing so I had all uh, I believe it was 12 holes total drilled out I know everything should fit right on here now the only thing I have to do is to mount my panels after uh, mounting the panels on here what I'm gonna do is since this was a satellite dish mount it's got a degree gauge so I can set the exact degrees and I want to set mine to roughly about 45 I don't know actually I might just actually leave it the same um, there is uh, they say you're supposed to mount them to a certain degree but I'm gonna try using this method right now see what this degree is gonna do and the only thing I spent total on this whole setup 
being that everything up here was free. 14, like 14.97 for uh, inch and five eighths uh, line pole for uh, chain link fence. This was the eight foot one, so that way I got about two foot in the ground, maybe a little bit more than two foot in the ground. I have a decent height coming up. And what I decided to do for an upcoming huge project that I'm going to start is the off grid educational center is the whole little off grid cabin where I decided that I'm going to go ahead and power it with these Harbor Freight panels. They're not the most economical, but the one thing I do love about them is they'll produce power and very low light. Give me a moment, guys. Let me go ahead and mount these panels up and show you what this is going to look like. All right, got this thing, um, got all the panels set up right up here. Angled it kind of the same angle as the one over there, maybe kind of twisted more back this way. Got it straight, so yeah, uh, there's like four bolts on the back. You give it a little twist, and that way you can kind of set it. Like if you want to twist your panels, you can, but I figure just like that is perfect. Um, I think this little modification as far as the Harbor Freight solar panels, I believe it's a good one gives you a little versatility in how you want to mount your panels um, like I said the total cost for this is about 15 bucks so it wasn't that much um, as you notice this is temporary I just strung the, uh, the cable up over zip tied it to the flagpole and I've already ran the other wire in I haven't made the final connection I was going to kind of take you in let's see um, looking at the charge control we're going to see if it does improve because instead of going 45 watts, we're going to be going to 90 watts. And it was just 13.5, 13.6 a minute ago. We're at 14.1. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and make this final connection and we'll walk in and see what, uh, what, what are we going to end up being at. Hold on one second. Alright, took me a second to, um, to get the little line hooked up, the little cover closed back up. And let's see. Oh, we actually dropped. We're at 13.5. Looks like a cloud kind of went overhead. But I'm pretty well sure even by drawing in 90 amps, I'm pretty well sure it can't hurt nothing. Uh, it is a charge controller. I figure they make an adapter that you can hook up eight sets of these panels to it. So I'm pretty well sure this thing is uh, this uh, charge control will handle uh, a lot of power. And, um, hell, with every kit that I buy, I'm going to be getting another charge controller because it's cheaper to buy these kits when they're on sale for, like, $129.99, $139.99. You can find the um, coupons all the time if you sign up for their, uh, I guess, the uh, newsletter or a little circular they send around. So this is it. The um, I think it will be the nicest way as far as hooking up the Harbor Freight panels. The only thing I am going to do differently is like right here. Now maybe like right here, somewhere in here I'm going to mount a box that the wires can be shortened. They'll go into a combiner box of some sorts and then you'll have like all three go into it. Then you'll come out of w with one wire and it'll jump to the next pole or a piece of conduit on the permanent installation that will jump all these uh, different ones together. So, you know, um, for $15 investment, besides the cost of the kit, I don't think it was bad. Um, let me know what y'all the guys think. Like I said, I'll put the description, um, the uprights, and the, the cross pieces. I'll put the dimensions, what I used. And you can see this one, actually, I came a little too far to this side. But you still have plenty of room to actually mount uh, the screw head. So, I mean wasn't bad $15 investment got my panels down here now I can clean these easier than I can the ones up there and those are getting ready to come down um, if you notice I got one more pole there I picked two up today I've got two more satellite dishes here a um, bunch more bed frames that were given to me and I have about 20 more of those little uh, brackets coming from the satellite dishes so I'm gonna go ahead and make a bunch of these that I can as always, guys, please rate, subscribe, and comment down below. And always, hey, thumbs up if you like this idea. Thanks so much, guys, for watching.